Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Islamophobes are using the Qatar FIFA World Cup 2022 as a smokescreen by using the Qataris or the Arabs as a scapegoat whilst indirectly throwing attacks and jibes towards Islamic beliefs. Let's face it when you've got people dressed as crusaders who killed scores of Muslims trying to get into the stadiums and then them being stopped and people putting in the comments oh yeah curtailing freedom of expression oh yeah you're not even allowing fancy dress where well, you're the same people that wouldn't allow somebody dressed like Hitler or Mussolini or Stalin and then a Fox reporter who says you've got separate entrances for men and women I don't feel so special just had to go through a special gate in Qatar for ladies only again that's a Muslim belief and a jibe at Islam and Muslims banning of alcohol again this is something that we do as Muslims but the word Muslims isn't being used the word Qatar is being used and because it's the first World Cup to be held in the Middle East and this will somewhat clear the image and make us more humans in the eyes of the people it's an issue but there's a video that's been going around of somebody called John Barnes. I think he was in the yeah England football team and he had a very famous music track that became the anthem here in the UK. Let's see because this guy apparently gave some fantastic answers. So just to contextualize I'm gonna have to keep stopping and pausing because I'm gonna get done for copyright. It's a bit of a mad one yeah. So initially she says that one of the Qatari guys say, said this about homosexuality. Does that change our view on Qataris now? What a dumb question. What an absolute dumb question. But anyway. What do you think now? Have you changed your mind about what we might view? Oh, okay, so if one person says something, therefore that's enough for you to change your view. No, 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 but she's only asking a question. Yeah, I've already addressed that. What a dumb question. Who well, Qatar also, and Qataris like? I've also heard Boris Johnson call Muslim women letterboxes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. My, my guy went in from the beginning. From the beginning. Okay, let me help out John Barnes here yeah, because Boris Johnson also said black people People have watermelon smiles. What are we gonna say then? So how are we viewed? That's what we have to think about. So of course this Qatari minister may have said what he said but what the Qatar World Cup is doing it's inviting everybody to come but just be respectful of our culture, of our religion and of our laws. Exactly LGBT people are welcome yeah they have never been stopped being welcome. However public di displays of affection between heterosexuals and homosexuals is not permissible and certain flags and colors have not been allowed because of the people themselves and their safety. They have relaxed a lot of the laws look at the drinking. You can drink but the fact that you now can't drink in a stadium for 90 minutes we're trying to beat them with a stick as much as they yeah oh, that's oh my god this guy's spitting so many facts. I thought Gary Neville was good mate this guy is creating his own path mate that's so true because you're trying to get them to bend backwards. However when they've relaxed certain things it's not enough. It's like the verse of the Quran that these people will never be happy with you until you leave your religion mate and hopefully this will be a good kind of indicator of those people that feel that oh yeah yeah let me just compromise with regards to this or with regards to that. No because it's never going to be enough. Much as they've relaxed those drinking laws can we not do without alcohol it for It turns out minutes? you can drink if you're very weak corporate hospital. Okay uh, okay but they said you can be <laughs> you can drink if you're rich. All right John John Box. Well, but not if you're those Welsh fans who are out no. in their fans let, this let I know. It's similar when you go to a lot of the Premier League matches whereby they can't afford to be drinking but in the corporate mm. boxes at but some Preach my brother! And you look at situations like for example the Crusader. Um, oh you see how he brought that in himself. Come on John preach my brother preach! Debate the as to whether the outfits. Together, yeah, yeah. You know that the way that Crusaders are viewed in that yeah. part of the world it's very okay. similar if somebody wasn't coming to a foot ma football match and wear a Nazi uniform. Done, 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 done. done. We're done at it, we're done at it. We're done out here. This guy smashed it already. It's finished, it's finished, it's finished. It's finished, it's finished. It's done, it's done, it's done. It's done. You think though John, I mean because the expectation, the hope is that by spreading football to all the different corners of the world you grow the game. That's that's yeah. the reason they've got it there. Yeah. Do you okay good good yep that's the reason they got it there. It took you a while but you got there in the end. Do you think that people's attitude towards Qatar and the Middle East will change through the World Cup because what we have seen is the restrictions not just from Qatar but FIFA placing restrictions yes. on whether you can wear the One Love armband. Good FIFA very balanced. That the Qataris are very good because it did come from FIFA and Qatar is implementing it. Only implementing mm -hmm. they're just very strict about implementing. Yeah. Do you think that is going to change people's perspective? Football can't change people's perspective. Life changes oh. perspective. Is football changing perspective here because the players took a knee? No. 
know. You have to look at it. Oh my God. Oh my God. This guy is spitting so many facts. Yeah. Just because a footballer t- uh, took a knee, does that mean racism has come to an end? Does that mean racism has been uh, kind of affected in the slightest? I, d- I don't think so, mate. In fact, it's become worse. People are taking a knee and you got the crowd booing him. From an institutional point of view, from a societal point of view, from a moral intellectual point of view, from a colonial point of view, oh. in terms of what we believe. Oh my God. Oh my God. This guy is so quick and he's so well read. We believe and others believe, but I believe that if you go to somebody country because we're saying the same thing for people who come here who may not yeah. believe in our laws or believe that they're right they yeah, have to yeah. respect our laws while they're here mm. so if we don't want oh my good lord oh my good lord okay okay if we don't want to respect their laws do not go if football oh just don't go facts if you don't like it there don't go there why do you feel no no i'm gonna go there and i'm gonna make them change how arrogant how ethnocentric don't feel or they feel they want to do something be it an armband be it outspoken and they're not allowed to Make a stand and say, I'm not going because I really believe in them. They really don't. Were you surprised? Oh my God. Oh my God. This guy. This guy. Yeah, the BBC was making a stand and boycotting the opening ceremony. But they ended up going there as well. Harry Kane. Yeah, yeah I'm going to wear the one love armband and I'm going to do this. Yeah, but you can uh, get a yellow card and mix the next match. Yeah, uh, that's the extent to which uh, my allegiance with the LGBT goes, mate. You know what the football fans are going to be like? You know what? Leave the gays for now, mate. What a response. In my opinion, this is the best response I've come across so far. <laughs> it beats Gary Neville's, mate. Sorry, Neville, mate. Yeah, but this guy, mate, Johnny smashed it. Yeah, <laughs> let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.